Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Uh, sitting here getting loaded, playing with some numbers, figuring out what I'm going to pay Melissa. How I'm going to pay her. Why I'm going to pay her. Anyways, uh, we are sitting here in Temple, Texas, getting loaded at, uh, what is this place? Wilson Art. They're hiring, by the way, competitive pay and benefits. I'm looking at their uh, sign there. Uh, we just got the red light. It's pretty cool. We're sitting on a scale in the door. <laughs> okay. <coughs> it's the first time I've seen that. What does that tell me? It tells me these guys load heavy as hell if they got a scale. It's all uh, drop trailers here. Um, your landing gear and your uh, tandem sit on a scale. Now I'm connected to the trailer, so my drives and my tandems are sitting on the scale so they can essentially see how much weight they're putting in the trailer. Whenever a place wants you to weigh when you go in first, you know you're screwed. Luckily, I just filled up. Um, or is that gonna be unlucky? No, because they can, will know we're overloaded immediately. We're not going that far, we're going, well, this is one of the longer runs that we've had to do since we've been with this company. It's gonna be 1,200 miles. Um, it was actually a 175 mile deadhead, which we tend to do a lot less deadhead miles. They, this was not the first choice load they offered me. She, she, she reloaded us. Well, for you, if you don't know, we stopped at the house. We were gonna stop at the house for one day I had to open up my business bank account in Texas because we're leaving the Missouri bank account and they're only in Missouri. And we had to get some mail, pick up some other mail and stuff. So when we got there, that day that we were home for the day, she started looking for a load to reload us and she offered us a load that wasn't great. It had a 90 mile deadhead. That seems to be when I'm at home about the deadhead miles, 90 miles to go to Houston. Um, pick up a load there or the surrounding areas um, this one went to not Maine it went to not Michigan it went to what's the other M state over there Northeast it went to the Northeast it's about <clears throat> about 1500 miles total and uh, it picked up yesterday um, which was cool and then when I was talking about that and I was like okay let me check it out because I, I was driving the car at the time I said give me a few minutes I want to check it out she sent another load she said or how about this this one might even be better and it was this load it picked up Sunday morning 8 a.m. Um, which gave us all day Saturday to do some stuff we needed to do I mean not really stuff we needed to do but you know hey Tough way to do. What the hell am I talking about? And it paid, if you go by the miles, it paid about uh, 30 cents a mile better. Um, but they both paid pretty good for the days. Uh, this load is paying me for pick up at 8 o'clock this morning and deliver at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning in Michigan. And it's paying me. Wow, it's paying freaking good for 24 hours. I'm not going to say what it's paying, but Jesus, you don't get this. Mr. Dispatcher, if you happen to run across these videos, you told me I'd be back. They always come back. You didn't say that, but that's what I always mean. Oh, you'll be back. Um, I must say, rates are down. Rates are in the toilet. But still, what these are paying me per day is way super surpassing what I was making at Prime per day. Um, I mean, I shouldn't make it sound like why a lot, but it's, it's, I, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, there's no regrets. Now it's only been a week. We haven't even put in a full week at this company yet. Because first week we had to go home to get, you know, pick up stuff for the truck. 
then we had to go home um you know then we ran we we ran almost a full week and then we stopped home to get mail what it was is i had uh, debit cards i had to pick up get out of my mailbox and open that bank account so it was kind of important now in a week now oh and we had to start we had a, we were waiting for something from uh, our health company health company health insurance because when we quit prime it canceled our insurance so we needed to wait for this mail from the insurance company which we picked up and now we've reinstated our insurance so now melissa can make her doctor's appointment because she was supposed to go to the doctors that first time we came home so depending on when that is uh, i may just drop her off um, or I may just go home for a little bit and then run while she's taking care of her doctor stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're, we're, we haven't figured it out yet. But looking at what this week, what the revenue for this week's going to be, and we ended up taking two days off. All right, I'm good with that. So we haven't worked the whole week yet. We've worked... This pay period, we'd work five days. Last one was four days, and the first one was two days. So, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I, I'm going to say we're, we're doing all right so far. Now, we're going to get a whole weekend because tomorrow, our pay period is Monday to Monday. This delivered at Monday midnight to Monday midnight. This delivers to uh, Monday morning at 9 a.m. Now it didn't say central time, but I'm wondering if that's central because a lot of their stuff they sent, they had central time on. Michigan is Eastern, I believe. Yeah, it's Eastern. Um, we'll see. But I got the red light and they ain't started putting nothing in me yet. They better start shoving things in, up me before I get uh, before I get mad up me, in me, before they. Yeah, they better start shoving things in me before I get mad. Don't make me mad. It's first day back. I'm tired. Got up at 2.45 in the morning to get up. Oh, there we go. We shook. They better be gentle. Better be gentle, boys. The other thing is, guys, I'm going to be in the market for a trailer. Um, easy. Probably next year I'm gonna wait and see if the trailer prices come down because I ain't paying no 70 grand for a trailer. That's just out of the freaking minds. But leasing a trailer, I'm responsible for the whole trailer, so I might as well I might as well uh, buy one and pay it off in three years, right? Best invention ever. Now, how fast are they gonna load me? It is, what time is it? How long have I been here for? Where's my clock? Oh, it's on my phone. Uh, 8.11, okay. I got here at about seven, an hour ago, about 7.10. My uh, drop dead time, we'll call it. Uh, my appointment time was eight o'clock. So the light went red at eight. And now it's about uh, 11 minutes later, they shook me one time. And wow, what the hell did they put in here? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's heavy. They put one item in and it brought me from about 15,000 pounds to 22, 23, 24,000 pounds. Unless they pulled the forklift and everything in and haven't backed it out yet. We'll see here in a minute. But that's, that's a heavy item. Now I know why they have scales. Let's see, okay, we're moving again. Nope, it's going up. Wow. Whatever they're putting in this trailer, boy, is heavy. Let's see. I'm up at 31,000 now. Okay, it's going back down, going back down. Okay, he backed out. I'm at 27,5. Wow, that's pretty heavy. And when I say that's pretty heavy, that's pretty heavy for putting two items in the trailer. And I wonder if they have a double forklift. I don't know if you guys seen that uh, over there at uh, some of the produce places. They'd run a double forklift and they'd pick up two pallets side by side and they'd load them side by side on my truck. It's pretty trippy. 
Hmm. We'll see. Oh, and this load, the uh, broker on it has got, uh, there's an app that we have downloaded that uh, they can track us. That way they don't have to make the phone calls because some brokers will call you. Hey, are you there? Did you get there? Are you being loaded okay? Yada, yada, yada. And then when you, you know, middle of the day, they'll call you, everything going okay? Where are you at? What state? What city? You know, blah, 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 blah. And then they'll call you right before you get there. Hey, man, you, you're going to make the load on time or whatever? Yeah, yeah, everything's good. Well, this broker uses a tracking app, which another one used. When you start it, um, uh, it doesn't start until the morning of the pickup, and then all of a sudden it'll tell you this tracking software is active, you know, while you're on the load. And it's got a, a, a button for arrival, a button for depart, and then a button for arrival and depart when you get to your delivery point. So, ooh, that's hazmat in that bay, bad boy. You better not be putting no hazmat on this thing. Um, So then um, when I got here, you hit arrival. It's kind of cool because now I don't have to worry about it. And it says you'll get fewer phone calls from your broker. So it's cool because then I don't have to worry about him calling. You can actually track and see where we're going. I grant, I, I guess that as long as we get out of here in a timely manner, you won't make a phone call because I'll hit the depart button. But uh, okay, they put something else on. It wasn't quite as heavy. Now we're up to 31,000. So they've been in my trailer three times and got it up to 31,000. Hmm. Okay, it's, I just noticed <laughs> I got a green light and put my shoes back on. Um, not what I was expecting. This is supposed to be a 42,000 pound load and I'm only showing 32,000 and my drives are all the way back. So something's going on. They told me to pull away on a green and come up but I'm gonna walk up there just in case because something is weird. So like, comment, subscribe. Hey, David H. Nope. Trucking with David H. on Facebook. Come join us. Oh, yeah, I'm on TikTok too. Yeah, I mean, I'm only going so it's not like I can't walk. She's like, let me just drive up. I asked, oh, okay, you guys can let me know when you're loaded. Well, when it goes green, just come back. So I'll walk up, no drive up. No, I'm walking up. Yank somebody out of the trailer.